Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to discuss what are my top five favorite boxing and combat brands. So stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here and today I'm going to give you guys my top five favorite boxing and combat brands as of 2021. Now obviously over the years I've done a ton of reviews on different products ranging from boxing gloves, which is probably the most popular, to boxing headgear, to footwear, to different boxing equipment, heavy bags, double end bags, speed bags, cover bags, grocery bags, you name it, I've done, I've done a review on it most likely. But what I haven't really discussed is what is my favorite brands or what are my favorite brands uh, when it comes to boxing equipment. And, and not to get mistaken with, uh, you know, I think a lot of times people look at some of the higher end gear, you know, obviously we talked about this before, but like winning boxing gloves. And while winning is great when it comes to boxing gloves, headgear, uh, and their no foul protector, they make awesome products. They don't really have a large catalog beyond that. It's typically that's what they're known for. Um, and that's even said for brands like Grant as well, even Reyes, uh, where they do really great things for what they have, but they don't necessarily have the biggest range of equipment outside of boxing glove headgear and groin protectors. So this list I'm about to give you is a list that I, I kind of thought about and I put some thought process into just dealing with the companies, knowing what kind of products they have and what they have to offer as well as what they've done in, the, in as far as innovation, what they've come out with. So without further ado, here's my list of my top five. Coming in at number five is going to be Top Boxer Boxing Equipment. Top Boxer is a company, or should I say an individual, Muhammad, based out of Pakistan, and is really known for his custom boxing equipment. Uh, he's been around for years now, and, and when he got into the boxing equipment game, um, he was really one of the first to branch off to be his own independent uh, boxing equipment company that brought you really high-end quality products at a really fair price. And I know he did a lot of advertising online on online forums as well as um, on different YouTube videos, including mine. Uh, and when I first discovered his equipment, I was really surprised on the level of attention to detail that he put into his equipment, how comfortable it was, uh, the fact that you can customize it to really make it any look that you wanted. And now you've really seen him explode and really grow into a really a, a big uh, international brand. I mean, you see uh, boxers uh, and, and you know, UFC fighters, pro-level pro boxers use his equipment. So he's a lot more well-known now. He actually has a, a website, obviously, that you can go to, uh, which I'll put down below in the description box. But what I really love about Top Boxers brand is um, you get great bang for the buck. You know, I haven't ran into a pair of, of Top Boxer gloves or headgear that wasn't high quality. Uh, excellent quality leather. The craftsmanship's usually always on point. Um, he has different models of gloves. So you have like the Win Ones, which are kind of like a Japanese inspired winning style glove. You have the Aliens, which are kind of more of a Mexican style, uh, puncher's balance style glove. You have old school glove. Um, I mean, he has bag mitts. He also has a Muay Thai style glove. He offers face saver headgears, uh, standard gladiator cheek protector style headgear, shoes. I mean, he, he offers a lot of different products um, and any really kind of colorway that you want. He also has stock color uh, products that he carries on hand, uh, but everything is really well priced. He, he prices everything fairly and he does free international shipping. Uh, so for that fact alone, the fact that he has excellent pricing with the quality of product that you get from him uh, places him at number five, which would be Top Boxer. Coming in at number four is Venom. Now Venom has been around for years now and when they originally first came out, uh, a lot of people identified their brand as being more of kind of like that MMA tap out crowd kind of brand that appealed more to like mixed martial artists and UFC fighter, that type of grouping. And a lot of the traditional classical boxers, they didn't really identify with the brand. I remember their very, one of their very earliest models was going to be the Venom Elite gloves, uh, which if, if you have a pair of them, you would know that they are a little bit more heavy. They're softer, a little bit more heavier padded in the palm area, had a shorter cuff uh, than a traditional boxing glove. Um, and then obviously the graphics on the gloves, and, and a lot of people aren't a fan of that, even till today, uh, is really loud. You know, it had these big like snake logos and these crazy colors all over, all over the wrist, the back of the glove, the palm. 
so that didn't really appeal to a lot of people uh, when they first started off. And then throughout the years, you started to see Venom really um, start to adjust their catalog uh, of, of boxing equipment to really cater more to the people that were into um, uh, classical traditional boxing. So as the years went down, they added more models to their glove line and what, what really made them jump up really, in my opinion, to the next level was when they came out with their pro boxing line a couple years ago. They had the Venom Hammer, the Shield, and the Giant 2.0. So to me, when they did that, you know, a lot of people were really surprised by that um, in the fact that now they were making gloves specifically just for boxing. Um, and the hammers were some of my favorite gloves and they still are. I was really surprised by the gloves. They, they were really nice, high quality. You can make an excellent fist. Hand compartment felt great. And I, I really think that Venom did an overall really good job with their pro boxing line. Um, and then they started bringing on um, professional boxers and sponsoring them. Guys like Lomachenko, uh, Jorge Linares is another uh, fighter that they sponsor as well. And I still think they still sponsor him till today, just like they do with Lomachenko. Uh, to really bring more uh, people in the traditional boxing scene into their brand uh, so that you didn't think it was just a st standard tap out, you know, a bad boy brand, uh, that they were really serious about boxing. Um, and then they started uh, making their own Venom Elite boxing shoes. They started making the, the headgear that was more or less uh, for traditional style boxing. And obviously you can kind of uh, mix and match it. You know, obviously UFC and, and MMA centric fighters Obviously, we'll do boxing and striking, which is part of their training. So I, th I thought Venom has done a, a really great job, a commendable job of branching out and really getting more into traditional boxing with their models that they've been coming out with, different colorways. I do love the fact that their higher end stuff is made in Thailand because I've always felt Thai make products are always, they don't ever get the recognition that they should be getting compared to the, the brands like Winning and, and Fly and like 1v1. Uh, and I always feel like Thai brands kind of don't get that same love that they should be getting but uh, I feel that Venom has done a really nice job with that you know they have double end bags they have different kinds of equipment so they have a really broad range of products under the Venom uh, branding they market it very well um, but for me personally I love the hammers those are my some of my favorite gloves the shields are really nice as well um, the elites are really nice shoes although they're a little too narrow for me I just have wide feet uh, but overall, I think Venom is a really good a good brand and that they're they're going places if they continue the same trajectory. So coming in at number four is going to be Venom. Coming in at number three is going to be Fairtex, one of the original Thai brands that makes amazing products, all handmade in Thailand, and one of my personal favorites till this day. Now, Fairtex has been around for many moons now. Um, I'm sure you guys all know who Fairtex is and what they do. What I love about them, obviously, aside from the quality of their products, is they have a, a huge catalog of products, uh, ranging from the traditional Muay Thai style gloves to boxing gloves that are Mexican style. I mean, they even have Mexican style, heavy hitter style gloves. Um, they have lace up Velcro, um, you know, and what I love about them is that they have a good, they have diversity when it comes to their gloves. They're not just stuck to the short cuff Thai style glove with the, with the rounded wrist closure that offers more flexibility, but they have the, the more boxing centric gloves like the BGL3, even the BGV9, and the other gloves that are more hybrids uh, that they offer. And they've also have more budget minded gloves where they use synthetics for those of you that are on a budget that kind of want the same performance as some of their higher end gloves, but are a little bit more on a budget. So I like the fact that they give you a different range of gloves you can choose from different styles of gloves. Um, they have bag mitts, uh, they have headgear, groin protectors, they have heavy bags. Obviously they even have apparel as well. So to me, Fairtex does a great job of, of really doing it all. I mean, they don't, obviously they don't have boxing shoes because they're a Thai style brand. But uh, with that being said, it's really hard to compete with them in that segment and the fact that they do give you that range of models when it comes to boxing gloves. Um, and also the quality is to me on par with the high-end brands like Reyes and Winning when it comes to the type of quality of leather that they use, the stitching being an ama uh, being amazing, and then bang for buck. Um, you know, just like a lot of other Thai brands, you're getting high quality goods at a fair price. You know, you're not paying three to $400 for a pair of Mexican style uh, uh, Thai made gloves from Fairtex. They're usually anywhere between like 90 to maybe 130, $140 max typically. So. Uh, you can't really be that in terms of value and quality. So coming in at number three is going to be Fairtex. 
Coming in at number two is going to be Rival Boxing. Now, Rival is a company based out of Canada. They've been around for years now, a very long time, and they're really known for their innovation. When they come out with their products, they introduce new technology into their boxing equipment that you typically haven't seen before. Um, just like the wrist lock closure technology where you have the dual um, wrist lock with the Velcro, the, the uh, nylon strap with the Velcro closure. Um, they put a really an emphasis on the the comfort and the hand ergonomics of their, their boxing gloves. And some of my favorite gloves are like the Rival Guerrero HD uh, bag gloves where you, you put your hand in there and they feel, feel like they're made for your hand. Uh, what's great about Rival is aside from their boxing glove lineup, they have very specific gloves made for working on the bag, very specific gloves made for doing sparring with, very specific gloves for training that you can do both sparring and bag work with. Um, and I love the way that they target that. They, they make it very clear what the gloves are intended to do, as well as even their boxing headgear, their no foul protectors as well. And then they have heavy bags, double end bags, speed bags, um, and basically a full range of boxing equipment. Um, you know, their designs are really cool as well. I'm, I'm a, you know, a big fan of the rival designs, the way they look. Um, they have their own shoes. Um, so they definitely have a full catalog of, of boxing equipment. My only, the only drawback I would say with Rival currently is that I've seen a kind of a slip in the quality of some of the products I've seen and I personally own just in terms of the quality control. Um, the vast majority of their equipment is made in Pakistan as well. Um, so just hoping that the quality with Rival gets back to where it used to be, if not better, um, just because I feel like the quality control standards have slipped a little, a little bit in the past couple of years and the prices have gone up. So anytime you see a price increase, you kind of expect the quality to at least stay the same or get better um, with that, not get worse. So uh, I feel Rival always has done a great job and they're probably one of the most copied brands out there. There's a, several companies out there uh, that have uh, definitely kind of cloned the, the way they, they, they make their gloves, the way they look, the way they perform, change the names obviously, uh, but I guess uh, you know imitation is the sincerest form, form of flattery to, with that being said, but I think uh, their designs, the type of gloves they have, and just their overall catalog is really hard to beat. Um, I just hope the quality can improve as well. So coming in at number two, it's gonna be Rival Boxing. So you guys may be surprised by this one, but coming in at number one is going to be Title Boxing. That's right, Title Boxing is a US-based company out of Lenexa, Kansas, that has been around for years now. Um, to me, they're one of the original retailers like Ringside. Uh, that would sell their own branded products, but as well as carry other brands as well, like uh, you know Reyes, uh, Rival, um, and other brands. Uh, I mean, there was even uh, a time 10 to 12 years ago that um, you know Ringside was actually selling Grant boxing gloves, and then they stopped selling Grant, and Grant kind of went and did their own thing. But those were kind of the two main brands here in the United States. And to me, Ringside has kind of gone stagnant. They never really kind of took the next step in terms of making new innovative products and kind of just continue to kind of stay on the same path where I feel a title has really exploded in the recent years. You know, the past five to six years, you've seen so much growth with title boxing in terms of making new innovative products, whether it's memory foam gloves, gel padded gloves, air pocket technology gloves. Um, and they make usually two to three versions of that glove. They'll make a bag version, a training version, and a sparring version. So. I feel that title gives you an, an excellent level uh, or excellent variety when it comes to their equipment. It's probably unsurpassed in my opinion. Um, they have heavy bags. I mean, they, they have literally everything you could think of when it comes to boxing equipment. Shoes, different models of shoes, different heavy bags, different double end bags, different speed bags, heavy bag mounts, hardware, um, uh, obviously conditioning, calisthenic type products, you know, shadow boxing uh, equipment. And everything that they carry is relatively uh, at, at a good price. Everything's pretty affordable. Um, you know, they, they offer discounts. So I don't feel that they're greedy in, in that regards where, you know, you find some companies where their, their products are super expensive and they don't, they don't even bother to try to discount or, or do any kind of, uh, you know, customer appreciation. It's just the prices is what it is and that's what you got to pay. And I love the fact that Title does um, give you, you know, discounts when it comes to the holidays and just their vast catalog of products. And I feel like they put a lot of thought process into some of their products. Some of them are kind of flops. You'll see some of like, I think they came out with like 
some title hexacone gloves years ago and I, those are pretty pretty bad um so there are some products that flop but at the same time it's like okay well at least i can see that they're trying to come out with something that people can use in their training and may feel that it's beneficial to them improving in their boxing craft so that to me is the main thing is that um you, you continue to see this evolution with title where you can go to like their new arrivals tab on their website and you'll always kind of see the new gear they're coming out with. I mean, one of my favorite ones was the Promex Combatiente gloves um, that I, I picked up. And I really didn't know what to expect with those gloves. When I, when I got them, they were amazing. They're still probably some of my favorite uh, pro fight gloves just because of how comfortable and broken in they feel. And they, they're, they almost, to me, uh, feel and look the same as like the rival Guerrero fight gloves um, for like half the price. So a lot of times you can find some hidden diamonds or hidden, hidden gems in the title catalog. Uh, if you're willing to, to you know, um, take the risk and, and buy the gloves and you usually get pleasantly surprised. Uh, even the title Gel World V2T bag gloves, which are their gel gloves, are amazing gloves, especially for those of you that have hand injuries. Um, I mean, for the price, I think those are like $139. they are not they are not a bad glove considering what other companies charge for it for their gloves. So I feel that based on the innovation that title has came out with in recent, ye in recent years, excuse me, um, the, the, the variety of products they offer, both in terms of boxing glove, the gear that you get, um, you know, conditioning equipment, the different bags they offer, I think they're really hard to beat at number one and they're currently uh, my number one favorite. So that's my list of top five boxing and combat equipment companies. Make sure you guys leave your comments down below if you guys have any suggestions or if there's any companies out there that you guys think uh, are just as good or better than the ones on this list, make sure you guys put it down there. Um, I'm always up for discussion about this, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.